All right. <laughs> win, win the day. I made few small changes. The other motor was junk. Oh yeah. It was losing power after you know a good warm up or something, so I changed it. So now you have you're good. Be careful. These uh, have a terrible tendency in turning away from the wind. Yeah, I know. That, that's the reason I uh, mine went into the trees. The wind carried it. I know. Yeah, same issue. <laughs> you are handling better than I did, though. Mine went into those trees and ended up on a. Yep. Yep, yep. Uh, that's the right thing to do. All right. Well. Yes, it doesn't want to come that way, I know. This is not a wind airplane, but great control rush. Even with all the power, it just... I know, it's just, it is like a, uh, almost like a windsock. It yes. wants to go with the wind, not against the wind. It's like a windsock, cannot turn it. Yeah, I had the same issue with my dolphin. I do it's a, definitely a no wind airplane, very calm the airplane, otherwise it doesn't want to turn. Folks, if you haven't watched the, my dolphin videos and the first episode, the maiden flight of uh, Nina, I recommend watching those. I will put them down in the description below. Because uh, I just want to tell you, if you end up buying these, these are very inexpensive. My dolphin cost me about $10. I had for free shipping for Hobby King. And this one was, I think, on sale for 20 or $25, but from time to time they come down in price like to, down to $15, $20, I think. It's definitely just a beginner airplane, but yeah. No, no, definitely not a beginner airplane. This is, uh, I call it a gimmick because it's fun, it's a conversation starter, it's a very col colorful, very fun looking airplane it's not that fun to fly at least my dolphin wasn't definitely not on a windy day like this so it looks cute great for kids but not for flying like the kids can look at it if they decide flying they need to have a lot of experience i mean raj has decades of experience flying rc planes and he couldn't <laughs> bring this back it was going with the wind like a kite Yes, I know, I know. It's somehow it is. Uh, yeah, the, maybe the tail is too large. It is turning it around. Or maybe the front is too large and it's turning it away from the wind. That means you have front to be perfectly area. slicing the wind. Otherwise, it will go. Yeah, it's if if it turns uh, like a crosswind, the wind hits the. I think the front of the fuselage and it just turns it around. Maybe I'll try from that end. Yep, I mean, I, I started uh, on, on the middle of that field, but it still ended up on the trees over there. Yeah, I, I tried my best, but yeah. I could circle, but the yeah. direction was towards... Actually, yours are flying much better than my dolphin. It didn't want to turn at all, in my case. I was just nosing up. All right, folks, thank you very much for watching nice. this short video. Thank you, Raj, for sharing. Appreciate it. I'm glad it's back on earth in one piece not high above uh, on top of a tree yeah yeah and then you can try actually uh, using uh, 1.5 or 1.8 a little heavier battery it may help if you yeah give it a try thanks <laughs> thank you see you all right folks another flight with Raj and his Nino, the clownfish. But this time, instead of using 1300 milliamp hour battery, he's using 2200. He tried it out earlier and he says that it flied much better. Is that correct, Raj? Yes. Let's better see how means, it performs. Better means a little more uh, maneuverable, but or it goes in the direction you want, but not. At least. <laughs> <laughs> not, not exactly, but somewhat in that direction. And also, the wind kind of died down, I think. If you look at our uh, little wind sock or the wind ribbon over there, you will see that it is it's not as oh, horizontal. <laughs> hmm? I thought there was no, he moved it back. I thought it was at this corner. Yeah. Here we go, another Nino. Okay. Nino. 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 
clownfish. Good luck. <laughs> Typical rush style. I don't think it's made to fly this fast, but... <laughs> I don't think so either. No. It is rush style. I call it rush style. Max watts. Max watts style. Alright, I'm going to go out there and then... Uh, it's going get... in the direction you want to go. It's better, yeah. It's just uh, very sensitive, I think, in terms of the elevator, right? Oh! Oh! Oh uh, yeah, because it doesn't have uh, much clue. <laughs> oh! I forgot it was upside down. <laughs> I hope it's okay. I hope it didn't get impaled in... I mean, it is like a semi-soft area. It is very close to where you crashed when I was uh, doing my my video with the e EZO 800. Again, thank you very much for watching and hope to see you on the next video. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> we just got a landing over there. Nino, Raj Nino landed. <laughs> Very close by. Is it okay? It's all right. I mean, I don't think it will. Oh, there's again yeah, one of the, it needs a little bit of uh, glue, I think. Oh yeah, the, the carbon. Correct. Ah, how about that? Oh so yeah. A, but that's okay. That's repairable. But it can be made to. I think it'll fly good. Yeah, it, it was flying great actually until. <laughs> it's just difficult to. It went upside down. And yeah, orientation realize. is difficult. Yeah. I think you may want to put some uh, maybe phosphorescent Marking. tape or marking on the bottom. Like one of those like a yellow packaging tapes. One thing for sure, your props will never die. And never cry. <laughs> yes, you know, the, the prop cannot reach the ground. <laughs> well, it was great flying as it lasted. While it lasted, Raj, thank you for sharing. Thanks. Thanks. And I'm glad it's uh, still... I'll make one more, one more uh, correction to it. Yeah. And, uh, Next it's getting time. better and better every time. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get my dolphin flying again. I'm trying to get this to about maybe 60 miles per hour. <laughs> okay, that will be a great adventure, I think. One and great noticed, video. One thing I noticed is a rudder, even the tiniest move is a complete... Rotates it, right? I've been, on my dolphin, I've been using rudder a lot for turns. Yeah. But it is too responsive, I have to yeah. slow it. Meaning I, I have... You can uh, probably change the... the yeah, I have to, so I have in, to reduce to the outer, Is there an outer hole for, for yeah, the rudder? there is, there is. I okay. can reduce it. Yeah, so it's, it's over here, sir. There is one more hole. So yeah. two two holes, you can take it out. Yeah, I'll just take it, do it electronically. Oh, yeah. Well, you can do that as well. Next time. Yep. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing, Raj. Thanks. Yeah, we look forward to seeing it at 60 miles an hour. Yeah, next generation. All right, folks. Thank you very much for watching the clownfish, Nino and Raj's antics up in the air doing a 3D with the uh, <laughs> poor fish. So, <laughs> see you on the next video. Take care, bye-bye.